In today's episode, I'm back with another potato recipe that I'm pretty sure you're going to love. So today we are making some mashed potatoes and they are not only mashed but they are also creamy. So with me here I have my ingredients and that's um, potatoes and I also have some salt. I'll start by dicing my potatoes into smaller cubes because it's faster to cook uh, smaller cubes of potatoes than really huge ones. So I'm going to chop this and I'll see you once I'm done. Now that I'm done with this, I'm going to rinse this about two times till the water runs clear. Then I'll be back and we can proceed. Now that these are nice and clean, I'll add them into my sufuria. Then I'm also going to put in with a generous amount of salt. That should be enough. Then I'll add in some water. You can add hot or cold. It doesn't really matter as long as it does the job. So that should be also enough. Then I'm going to cover this and let this cook till the potatoes are ready. So uh, one benefit of chopping your potatoes into smaller pieces is they will cook faster than compared when they are in huge chunks or huge pieces. So uh, this should take about five or so minutes, not more than that. And I'll see you uh, for the next process. So roughly five minutes later, I think my potatoes are ready and how to know your potatoes are ready once you pre press it against the wall like that it should easily smash just like that and that's how you know your potatoes are ready i'll switch this off then we can proceed to the other side where we get started on the machine then since you can see I have some excess water, this water is very good in starch, so you have to keep it and you can use it in your next stew because you see it's whitish and it contains a lot of starch which is a good thickening agent. So I'll strain most of the water. Then you may back shot to Then I've set that aside and I'm going to mash this. And since our potatoes are well done, this shouldn't be uh, a difficult process. I'll switch that for a spatula and you can see how simple this is. So this is okay, but we are not making some mashed potatoes. We are making them creamy. So I'm just going to taste for salt. Requires just a little bit. Small pinch should be okay. So that should be okay. Then I'm going to season this with some black pepper. You can also leave out the black pepper if you do not have it or if at all you do not like the chilliness of the black pepper. Then I'm going to mix this. Then since we are almost done, we need to make this creamy. So you need some either butter or margarine and we are just going to add about a spoon and that's going to make it very creamy and you'll also need some milk or some uh, heavy cream whichever you have i have some milk with me then to make the process easier i'm going to use my hand mixer and i'm going to beat this uh, till everything is well incorporated and well combined
how you can see how soft it is wow. so i'm just going to continue uh till uh, we form a very smooth consistency and i'm just going to add some more milk here see too look at this this is the real definition of creaminess mm. uh, before we proceed for serving I had some coriander leaves and this is just going to give it some more freshness as well as some um, color here and there and now this is perfect and let me see for serving and tasting As you've seen, it was that easy and I've served mine with some steamed carrot and cabbage and I have a recipe on this and also some minced sushi. So, you can see how creamy this is and that's exactly what we wanted. Hmm. Wow, tastes amazing. Hmm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Give to me potatoes any day, any time, in any kind of form, shape, size everything i'm done for it you need to talk i'm done with it in your okay wow wow And that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. I also hope you're going to share this recipe. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.